Kate here with Ingebretson's Knits for a tutorial on how to do German short rows. This goes along with the Ingebretson's Christmas stocking pattern in honor of our 100th anniversary. Wrap and turn short rows also work for this project. Today I'll be demonstrating the German short row which creates a more even stockinette finish. Here you can see completed short row stitches. When you make a German short row stitch, you will end up with what looks like a double stitch. So to do that, the first thing you'll do is turn your work where required in the pattern. And on the purl side, you'll keep the yarn in front. Slip the stitch as if to purl. And pull up on the working yarn. This will create the double stitch. After you pull up on the working yarn, move the yarn back in front to purl back across your row. Purl back across to where you need to turn your work or the previously worked short row stitch. That again will look like that double stitch. When you get to that point, once again, you will turn the work. And on the knit side, you will bring the yarn forward as you did on the purl side and slip the stitch purlwise again. Pull up on the working yarn, creating that double stitch. And this time, just keep the yarn in back so you can begin knitting across this side of the heel. Continue working back and forth, working one last stitch each row until you've worked six total short rows. You can count each double stitch as one completed short row. So here you can see I've completed the six short rows and I can count my double stitches. So now we need to work back across, picking up one additional stitch each row. So to do that, we'll work into these double stitches, treating them as one, sort of like a knit two together. So go in through both legs of this double stitch and just knit it together. And turn your work. Now we're not working any additional short row stitches, so now you can just slip the first stitch, and on both sides you'll slip it purlwise, and then you'll purl back across until you have reached the next short row stitch. Here on the purl side, you can see the double stitch. And again, we're just gonna work this as one stitch going through both legs and purling that stitch. And then we're ready to turn the work again. And on the knit side, we'll slip this first stitch purlwise and then knit across to the next short row stitch. Showing you once again on the knit side to knit the double stitch. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to get through both those legs, but with some practice, you'll get the hang of it. Turning the work once again, we're going to slip the first purl stitch and purl back across, purling the double stitch when you get to it, and then you'll turn your work again. So you'll continue working your heel flat until you've worked all of the short row stitches until 
you should end up on a purl row back to your beginning of round marker. And your main color should still be there, and then you'll be ready to resume the pattern with your main color stripes. Thanks for watching our German short row tutorial.